So, your snake plant had babies. Now what? <laughs> plant day! Plant day? Hey. Hi, my name is Taylor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to propagate your plants using a method called division. All you'll need is the plant you want to propagate, some extra soil, a pot or pots, depending on how you want to reorganize your propagation, and some sharp shears that I'm holding in my hands but neglected to show. Alrighty, planners, let's get started. First thing you want to do is remove the plant from the pot it's already in. This process may be a little bit difficult, so remember to be gentle. Begin loosening up the soil. You want to remove as much soil as you can around the rhizomes so it becomes clear where you should be cutting. But Taylor, what exactly is a rhizome? To make it super easy to understand, rhizomes are basically the babies, also known as the pups. So you have your mother plant and then the rhizomes begin to shoot off of the mother plant underneath ground and pop up as, well, baby plants. All right, now the fun part. Let's get to propagating. You want to grab your sharp, sanitized shears and find a good place on your plant to cut. I chose to go right in the middle of my rhizome. When you're making incisions, it's important to get as close to your mother plant as possible. Doing this ensures that the baby plant still has roots attached to it, so when you go to repot it, it has a good root system to work with. Remember, as long as your cuttings do have some roots attached to them, that they will be fine and that they will eventually grow a much larger, much stronger root system. With that being said, I do want to explain the importance of separating your pups from your mother plant. You see, when all the plants were connected, they were all operating under the same root system, which can be fine. However, you're limiting yourself for the opportunity to have more pups and even larger growth. Now that this mother plant isn't sharing her root system with all her pups, her root system will A. Create more pups, or B. Just let her have her own new growth and grow larger as a plant overall. Oh wait, and did I mention all these pups are now going to be acting as mother plants? Once they create their own root systems, they too can then have their own pups and you'll have even more snake plants. Ah, the art of propagation. Okay, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, time to repot the plants. These two plants that I have in my hands were actually cuttings from the same mother plant earlier in the year. I wasn't kidding when I said dividing your plants will actually give you more pups overall. Now that I have all of my cuttings ready, it's time to repot. You can either take all of your cuttings and put them in one large pot to make it look like you have a bigger plant overall, or you can take each individual cutting and place them in their own individual pots so you have more plants to either decorate the home with, give to friends, whatever it is. I chose to put all my cuttings in one big pot. I actually started with just one cutting of this Moonglow Sensiveria earlier this year. Since then, it's had all these babies already and I'm hoping for more. That's why I divided them in hopes that they have their own babies and eventually I have a much, much fuller plant. This truly is the art of propagation. If you don't want to spend your money on having a huge, ginormous plant already, start with just one cutting and learn the art of propagation and boom, there you have it. Eventually, you'll have your own ginormous plant of all your propagations combined. Once I arranged the cuttings in the pot the way I thought they looked best, I then just added in some extra soil and filled in any empty spaces in between the cuttings. Well, there you have it, planners. Now you know how to propagate your plants using a method called division. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, planner, keep growing, continue strengthening, and always evolving.